everybody, this is Alita here with yet another exclusive for UndergroundRadar.com. I am about to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Mr. GQ of GQ Misfits. Great. <laughs> so we're here in Rightway, one of the top studios in Baltimore. Right. What's the only thing you've been working on? Um, recently we just worked on uh, Trade the Truth album. Okay. Um, Chevy Woods album. All right. That's Taylor um, Gang. Yeah, Taylor Gang. Okay. Taylor Gang. T O G. Got some big names there. Yeah. Um. So uh, I recently was just with Todd Dolla Sign, so that's another Taylor Gang artist. So I'm looking to work on his project in Tanasha. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so what are you working on with Tanasha? Tanasha, wow. So our history goes back. Um, we did some stuff for her on her Black Border mixtape right before okay. her first album. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> so um, that was incredible. We did that with uh, Jay Oliver. Okay. Um, and my partner, Salem, Matt Tanaya. So. Okay. That was a good look for us. On okay, that. so yeah. what are you all looking forward? Is there anything we can't we can we get any kind of insider or like right now we just working. I know she's like halfway through her album. Okay. We've been submitting a lot of records. Um the last time we got the record, it was like the week before her project came out. Wow. Yeah. So the crazy thing was Tight time on there. Yeah, tight time on. <laughs> so um, you know, it's just a it's just a game. Okay. So we just wanna play the game. Okay, so week. how long have you been producing now? Um since like I've been producing since like 2007. Okay. Up 2007. So, so you coming up on that first decade of completion there. Yeah. So well, like, how, how's that feel? You it know. It feels kind of crazy because like back in the day it was this magazine called Scratch Magazine. Okay. Scratch Magazine was like the source or the double XL for producers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, every producer wanted to be on Scratch Magazine. So um, and we used to read the interviews. They said. Every producer used to always say it took them about 10 years to crack into the industry. Gotcha. So I feel like that on that 10 year about to come up for me right. and my team, it's going to be crazy. I feel like it's going to happen because we already like bubbling. Right. We're already making a lot of moves. I'm about to say, yeah, we had to, we had to put you guys on that list when oh, we yeah. did our producer <laughs> list. So, you know. That list was kind of crazy. I was like, you I know? was definitely honored to be able to make that list. Definitely. I mean, you guys have definitely put out some really strong tracks and you always had some of the the best music. I mean, putting that list together was definitely a challenge, but when we sat down and had it, it was like, okay, yeah, we, we got for these guys. And to be like, that was cool because um, the number one was Jay Oliver. I and Jay Oliver, <laughs> like, what people don't know, like, Jay Oliver, that's like my best friend. Okay. And my partner, 4.0, him and Jay Oliver grew up together. Wow. So, like, we all cut from the same cloth. Like, Jay Oliver actually got me into producing based off of a lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, off of a lie. <laughs> so, if he never lied to his manager this one random day, I would not be producing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so. Sometimes a lie can be a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was like, it was crazy, but it, it you know, it happened. It worked out. It worked and here out. You are. Here I am. To not say it. Everybody else has the best thing saying. Yeah. So, okay. You have these artists and, and they're over there. Of course, you're still here a lot in Baltimore amongst traveling everywhere else. Uh -huh. When you look at the indie scene with artists, is there anybody who's kind of caught your eye that maybe isn't signed yet that you kind of like waiting if, as a producer just kind of want to see what they're going to do? Like here? Um, or no, maybe not even here, just overall. There's a couple artists I really like okay. like from here. I love um, Marilyn LaVon. Okay. I worked with her a lot. Um, Marilyn Rivers. Okay. London Savoy. I like R&B. I like working with R&B. Gotcha. I, I, um, I felt the trend. <laughs> London Savoy. Um, it's a couple. Uh, I work with B Dot. Me okay. and him have a good relationship. With me, it, it's it's not a, it's about the music, but I have to have a relationship. I have to be able to like have a conversation with you. Gotcha. I have to be able to tolerate you. It's a lot of producers here that I just want. I mean, a lot of artists here. That I want to work with because it's like I don't want to work with everybody. Like, gotcha. if I can't call you and we can hang out, you have to have that vibe, vibe, the, the energy. vibe. Like, yeah, of course. the best music of course. is made. The best music is made when you have great chemistry and okay. a great vibe with the person. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I can definitely agree with a lot of those people. We've yeah. actually featured a lot of those people. So, yeah. so um, from here, I feel like between me 
But one of my, you know, partners, we pretty much worked with everybody in Baltimore. Wow. Up there. So, That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, we pretty much worked for everybody. Worked for, with everybody. Greenspan. Yeah, awesome. Um, Damon Blue, V Dot. Um, That's all hitters. When uh, who was the what's his name? Uh, Tony Austin when he was rapping. Okay. Like um. My partner 4.0 did that. So it's like between the three, me, Salem, and 4.0, we mm -hmm. pretty much worked with everybody. everybody. That's dope. That's yep. definitely dope. So what do you? What would you like to see now as you guys are expanding for you all to maybe bring to artists? Outside just being a producer, because clearly you're more so about the whole development of this artist. Uh -huh. You know, when you go into a session, what, what do you, I guess, maybe bring to that session that most artists might not expect? Um, quality because it's a difference between producing a record and actually making the beat. Okay. Um, I actually like producing records okay. a lot more. Um, being in beats is cool. That's just the beginning part. I was about to say, break um, that down for the people that because, don't like, understand. Like, like, like recently, this is beyond like, making recent, a beat. <laughs> like, like I said, recently I've been in the studio with um, Marilyn, River, Marilyn Rivers. Okay. And um, I actually started getting into like the whole songwriting. Okay. So I wrote my first song with her nice like so um that should be coming out very soon hopefully okay. um the song is amazing i was say um, that allows you to play I got, other pieces. I got like yeah i got inspired so okay. it's like my I, I wrote the record we made the beat um with the homie denard he's another okay. producer from here and as i was leaving the studio that next morning mm -hmm. i stayed up like all night working on the record wow. and um i wrote the record just driving in the car Wow. Like, so when you guys coming. hear this, like, he just, was like. <laughs> and I never wrote, and I, I dabbled in writing a little bit. Like, okay. I don't, I can't sing. I'm like <laughs> tone deaf as shit. I sound like a cat having sex, some type of shit when I sing. So it's like one of them things. But um, the record came out amazing. Okay. We, um, we're definitely doing that. So. Okay. That's, that's always a dope thing. So you have the songwriting that's kind of come into this you have the artists that you've been working with or whatnot now there's the group outside of just you there's the the group as well so are you guys normally working separate and then coming back together how, how, what's the process it's with a, that because you guys sound like you like yeah. great separate and then yeah. you break together and it's so like, it's like like everybody have their like their own special talent okay. um when i when i brought the team together it was just like we were all homies. Okay. We all went to school together at some point in time or got introduced to each other at some point in time. Gotcha. And when we came together, it was just like, boom. Mm -hmm. So like, I could be making, I could make five beats in one week. Okay. Salem can make 10 beats in one week. 4.0 gotcha. can make another seven or eight. Right. And then we come to collective and then we'll make another 10. That's, that's like true. that's like fifty records a in a month. So it's like the catalog can just grow. Gotcha. So we work we we work separately. We work together. We meet up like twice a week, three times a week, okay. and collab on records. Or like it'll be stuff that we started by ourselves and then okay. bring to the table. Somebody else can yeah add that piece. So like really actually four point oh actually taught me four point oh taught me how to sample and Jay Oliver taught me how to like make it like full circle like. Okay. He showed he gave Jay Oliver gave me the program to be able to start making records and 4.0 okay. showed me how to sample in that program wow. to like begin my whole musical journey. Now, do you find that something that happens a lot amongst producers? Is there a common camaraderie, or do you think that's more so because of you guys and like, your background? I don't know. I think it's because well, we have a lot of camaraderie right. because um we all grew up together. Yeah, I can I can so just it's tell. like. What we're complete like assholes to each other as well. <laughs> like it's kind of crazy. Like, like brothers. Yeah, gotcha. because like we don't let if something is bullshit, mm -hmm. we're gonna be like that's bullshit. But that's good. Yeah, it's not like no sugarcoating it okay. at all. So that's how we just maneuver. Okay. Um, and I feel like that helped us to grow. Like I could go on for days. Like right. we had, damn. Like it took us back. Like our first meeting we had when we was eighteen at Atlantic Records. Wow. The YouTube video might still be on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, like me and John. We might need to find that. That was and that was never that was like based off of um like when Facebook first started. This is what people don't Way know. Way back when. This is what people don't know, right? We're gonna when, when Facebook when Facebook start first started, um, it was a way that you can sh um search for jobs, right? Okay. And one day I just put in like Def Jam, mm -hmm. and everybody that worked for Def Jam popped up. So I'm like, oh shit! So now now I did Atlantic. I did Atlantic. I did. Um, RCA, whoever okay. was hot at the time, right. and I just sent this mass email 
And then like this one A and R, she was an intern at the time, she was okay. back. And then we just started sending her records and then we ended up having our first meeting. Me and Jay Oliver went up there together. Wow. This was like two thousand seven, eight maybe. Yeah, but then that's right yeah. around when Facebook started. You still had yeah, to have a college yeah. email address. Yeah, so it was kinda uh cool, so it was definitely wow. a cool thing. It was definitely a cool thing, so Okay, so now we know a little bit about you. Wow. Now we kinda know a little bit about your background. Wow. You openly readily available for other people to work with you. How yeah, does that so, work? Like how yeah. how do people get in touch with you? You can um email well us as okay. a team, Misfit Sounds at um Misfit Sounds the number four mm-hmm. ever. So it's spelled M I Z F I T Z S O U N D Z the number four and then ever at gmail dot com. Okay. Follow us on Twitter at Misfit Sounds. Same way in the email M I Z F I T Z S O U N D Z. Okay. All right, well, we're going to stay tuned. We're going to see what they have going on. They do have the rest of the team around, but we wanted to take some time off to talk to Mr. GQ while we had him here. Pretty sure next year we're not going to be able to get him because he's with Tanache and everybody else. <laughs> we know how that goes. But anyway, stay tuned because we're going to have a part two to this, and we're going to talk to him and his partner about some other things. <laughs>